Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I am in Arizona still and we are going to be repotting some plants. Now I have these two um, succulents. I think there's some type of echeveria and they are in this big round pot here and I'm going to be putting two elephant bushes in each of these pots. So I'm pretty excited about that because it's going to look really nice. And then I'm transferring these over to this smaller pot because they don't need this much space. This is the first thing I'm going to be doing today. I have like one, two, three, four, like five different projects of repottings to do today. So we're going to go through each one. And I have my coffee. It is six o'clock in the morning. It is already 82 degrees. So we're doing this early before the sun creeps over on this side. <laughs> Let's hope that doesn't happen anytime soon. Okay, actually I need soil. Be right back. This will prevent me from getting soil all over my mom's patio, which I'm still doing. That's okay. We clean it up. Oh man, it's so hot out here, guys. I think it rained last night a little bit, so the humidity is whew, crazy. All right, we're gonna grab one here from the base. Oh, this has a nice root system. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. There's a few dead leaves here, so I'm gonna go ahead and take those off. In pretty good shape, just a couple of burnt leaves here but it's actually growing another little tiny um, pup inside. Actually, two of them. So those will get big once we get this repotted up and watered and get it all good to go. All right, pop this down in there. Backfill it with some soil. All right, now let's get this other one out of here. Same thing, this has a little tiny one coming up off of it. Soil's nice and dry. She has not watered them because she knew I was going to be doing this. I'm just going to clean it up here. A few dead leaves. No biggie. Yeah, nice root system there. All right. Just pop this guy in. Back fill her up. Not quite sure how people in Arizona survive without having a pool. Like, it's just so hot. It is dry heat though, so it's tolerable, but it's still hot. Oh, we got some roots that are trying to escape. Oh, and we lost one. It's okay. All right, fill up this patch here. There we go. I'm gonna get this watered in really, really well. As soon as I'm done, potting everything up and that's it look at that cute right go over there you come over here how cute is this little guy this is grumpy from uh, seven dwarfs she's got disney stuff all over her yard yet we've never been to disney i think she may have been to disney like once in her life but i have not winnie the puma I love Disney, you guys. Do you guys like Disney? It's my fave. All right, so I'm gonna pick out all of these dead leaves here. All right, put that there. Let's get these out of here. Now this is the Speck Boom Elephant Bush. This was $6.98 at Home Depot in Queen Creek, Arizona. And then this is the Rainbow Elephant Bush, which was also $6.98. Now this one has a little bit more variegation to it. So she liked both of them, couldn't decide, and she decided on both of them. So we're gonna get them both potted up here. So what I wanna do is I might have too much soil in here to get these uh, root balls down in here. But we're gonna see. First, looks like it was just watered, which is always fun. Oh, that was pretty easy. Good root system. We can actually take some of the soil off, which I'll do over the bucket carefully. 
gonna have to clean the patio. Oh well. She might wake up and kill me. Okay. Okay, look at that. All right, we're just going on in here. And we're gonna put it kind of close to where it kind of hangs over the side. Let me channel my inner garden answer here. Yes, so pretty. All right, push this down a little bit. And we're gonna backfill it. Which is pretty simple to do. That looks great. Look at that. I love it. Okay, next one. Try to clean up a little bit of this mess. Oh, she's gonna kill me. She's gonna kill me. You wanna squeeze and just kinda lean it out. You don't wanna pull at the stems if you don't have to. Oh, it's losing some leaves here. Okay. This is another good root system. Okay. <clears throat> Get her potted up. Yes. It's gonna be really pretty. Oh, I'm excited. That looks great. Oh, these things grow really well out here. She's got a few other ones if you saw in my tour that I posted the other day. My last video. Not my last video, two videos ago. Um, she's got a couple of these and she likes them so much because they grow so well that she wanted to get some more. Okay, let's get some soil in here. I thought that was gonna be enough, but it wasn't. I love how this came out. <gasps> it's so pretty, she's gonna love it. She's awake. Hi, Mom. Morning. I'm repotting already. Mm. Hi, Deej. DJ. Do you like that one? Okay, I'm back with dirty nails and hands. That's okay, though. We are going to get this money tree repotted into a terracotta. My husband bought this for my mom yesterday, and it is gorgeous. I mean, the size of this thing. So she's gonna keep this in complete shade underneath her patio, water it, mist it every day because it'll need it out here in this dry heat. And the root system looks pretty good. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm a little far from the camera, sorry. Um, it also has some zip ties up in here that I'm gonna cut out of there and just kind of let this grow and do its thing. I feel like I hate when they constrict plants like that. And I think it's already grown to where it's braided itself. So I can take this tie out of here. It's literally just like a regular food zip tie or twist tie rather. There, see, just a regular old twist tie. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, and I'm using cactus mix because guys, it's a mixture of soil, perlite, a little bit of pumice, a little bit of orchid bark. It's a great, easy draining medium to use. And I like it. And it's cheap out here. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get some of this soil off of the top of it. It's a little dry. My battery died. All right. So there was one stem, and this is why it's good to repot after you buy plants at the store. There was one stem that had a little bit of whew, a rot at the bottom of it. And I traced it back to the leaves, and sure enough, the leaves are yellow and dying, and that would have possibly infected the rest of the plant. So we got that out of there. Everything else looks great. And we're just gonna pop this up. Very healthy. And right about there should be perfect. Did you want to do any of these, Mom? She said no. We have someone that stays at our house while we're gone and stays with our dogs. And she uh, 
I told her to water the plants outside if it didn't rain. But I'm always just terrified going away for, you know, more than just a few days and coming home to seeing like what plants I may have lost. <laughs> oh my gosh, this looks so good. Look at that. There's one branch here that's a little wonky. We're gonna get rid of that. Oh, it looks so good, guys. So purdy. Oh my gosh. Whew. Okay, number three. We have our pot. I'm taking this aloe that I bought for her out of this little tiny terracotta saucer because it looks like it's protruding and ready. And I'm gonna put these two tiny little Ming thing cacti that I bought at Home Depot for three bucks in this little pot here for her table. All right, first things first, let's get some soil into the pot. I'm glad we bought two bags of soil because it looks like we're gonna need it. Any soil in there? Whatever, right? Eat a little soil, never hurt anybody. Okay, make a little well. And let's get this out of here. This is a medical aloe. It says it needs bright light. However, you can totally fry these leaves in direct sun. So she's just gonna keep it in indirect light out here. Ooh, a nice root system. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. The roots look pretty nice. And I'm just gonna loosen the bottom just a little bit. You don't have to a lot. Popping on in there and backfill it. Oh, this looks so cute. Okay. Oh, there's a little breeze. Oh, it's very rare that there's a little breeze. They live in the valley, so I feel like a hole and like all the wind just, the breeze just flowing right over the hole and not in the hole. They live in a hole. It's actually monsoon season, whatever that means, because they got like a drizzle of rain the whole time we've been out here. <laughs> but it increases the humidity, and anybody that knows Arizona knows that Arizona's dry heat, so it's tolerable when it gets in the 90s, and even sometimes the hundreds, because there's no humidity, so it's all dry. <sighs> but when monsoon season comes and there's a little bit of humidity in the air, boy! Okay, that was easy peasy lemon squeezy. All done. Mom, where's that other bag of soil? Okay, so I don't have gloves on. I'm gonna attempt this with no gloves. Let's see how we do here. Ooh, this is root bound. Break it up a little bit. Take some of the soil off the top. Hey mom, where's that other bag of soil? There's soil all over my arms too because I'm sweating and it's sticking to me. It's so flattering. Gotta find a spot that doesn't have a spine. These do have spines, so you have to be careful. Thanks mom. You're welcome. <laughs> Don't kill everything. I'm gonna squeeze it in there. Oh my gosh, how stinking cute is that? And again, I'm gonna water everything in, so I will clean the, the foliage up when I do that. Because right now it looks like lots of soil's on there. Tap, 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 tap. How cute! Okay, so we are going to take the succulents out of here and put them into this container. And I'm just gonna do some cleaning up of these. They actually look okay. This just looks like it needs some water. These are a little leggy, so I'm gonna clean some of this up. There's some dead foliage in here um, and just pop them in here. And I might take these out and maybe replace the soil in here just to give it some more nutrients. Let's go. So let's take these out, see what we got. Remove some of the soil. Yeah, there are some dead 
leaves on here. So let me grab my garbage bucket. I'm just gonna simply pop off any leaves that look like they might be burnt or dead. Okay, there's one. Succulents are very resilient, so that's a that's a good thing. If it has a good root system and it's not root rot and uh, it's still putting out new growth, you should be able to plant it right up and it should continue to grow. Just got to make sure you're giving it the right amount of water, the right amount of sun, and cleaning it up from time to time so that the plant's not putting strength into the dead foliage. Yeah, this looks good. I might just pop off these bottom two leaves. This looks like a good one though. So this one, no. This one is a goner. And the reason is, is because it's got root rot on the base. So we're gonna have to get rid of this one, sadly enough. Oh, and I'm actually putting a cactus in this hanging basket. I forgot to show it to you. I showed it to you in my shop with me video that I posted before this. But this is like, it almost looks like a red torch cactus, but it's called Copper King. So let's see how well I could do this with no gloves. All right. Actually, mom, do you have gloves? Because I think I'm going to need them for those big cactus. I've got, well, I've got the uh, tongs, you know. Yeah, can I have the tongs? Thanks. There's nothing wrong with it. It just got a little leggy. So I am going to just plant this a little bit lower in the soil. And we should be good. Here's number four. This has a little baby growing out of it, which I can definitely plant. So there's five. Let's clean this up here. Good root system. Pretty leaves. This has just a few dead leaves on here, which we'll pull off, but it has a good root system, yay. In the root system a little deeper. This is a pretty one. And that's it. And now this gives it some space to grow. Tongs. We are going to hot this sucker up. Fresh soil. You barely have to water them. Out here you do, especially with these temperatures, but not as much as you would a succulent. Carefully pull it out. And we're gonna dig a little well here and just pop them on in. Oh, that's adorable. So cute. <laughs> no gloves needed. You like that? This has little, a couple little babies growing off of the base of it too. want to hide the plastic if you can and then once the root system establishes a little bit better it'll be a little bit more secure in the base that looks good though all right that looks so cute <laughs> perfect the next projects are bigger planters with bigger cactus so uh, we're gonna get this patio cleaned up so here is the succulent dish so far down here and then up here we have the little cacti hanging there how cute is that and then over here is her little area isn't that so much prettier than what it looked like before I mean she had it cute before but I just think with the money tree here and the aloe and the succulents repotted everything looks so cute here and she still has a little space here for something else. So, 
who knows, maybe uh, when I'm out here in September we can go shopping. <laughs> and then over here we have the Ming Thing cactus. And then over here we have the succulent dish, or the elephant's bush dish. And she got rid of that fake plant. Ha <laughs> ha! It's perfect. All right, let's go pop these up. So we have this huge planter here and we're gonna put this serious cactus in here, I think it's called. Give you another look at that. Serious twist. We're gonna get this in there. Ooh, don't poke me. There's a weed in there. And then we are going to put these false ocotillos which are so cool, in with this one. So I'm thinking I can pull this a little bit forward and then I can put those other ones like in around the back of it, move some of these little guys out of the way. All right, let's do it. Okay, we got our gloves, we got our cactus, let's do this. Okay, now, we need to make a well here. Get some of this soil out of here. Break a nail, Nicole. Don't break a nail. We're gonna get this guy out of here. I'm gonna just I'm gonna squeeze the base. I don't want to use the tongs because I don't want to. I don't want to mess up the um. Well, the cactus. Like I don't want to nick it. You know, it's coming slowly but surely. Wow. Oh, it's root bound. Look at that. Can you see it? Ooh. Ooh. Don't poke me. Oh. Loosen it up a little bit here. This looks great. What do you think? It's so pretty. We have a little little turtle guy. Put him right here. How about on the side here? Like that? Yep. And then we have this really cool rock. Where'd you get this from, Mom? <laughs> quarry. Oh yeah. And we got our big ones in front. Oh. He's sitting on it. Those guys. I love it. And I think what we might do is we might top this off with um, stone. And we have a ton of it here. It goes all the way back. So I'm just gonna take some of this stone and just top it off here. Mom, you wanna hold this camera for me? Right. You want stone on it? Yes. Convenient driveway you got here, Mom. Isn't it though? I have to buy my stone at the store. Doesn't that look better? Very I mean, desert-like. I need my daughter here more often. Yeah. Facts. So pretty. Okay. On to the next one. Peace. Okay, hi. Hello. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna move it forward. And then we're gonna put the false acatillos all around it. And the sun is blazing hot right now. Got my gloves on here. And we are going to 
see if we can get this out of here. I'll take some soil out. I'm gonna wrestle with this root system. Very nice root system, Mom. Look at that. Oh, good, because I thought maybe I was killing that one, too. Yeah, no, this looks great. Okay. It's a heavy cactus. Look at that. Holy shnikes, there's that sun. Hello, son. Very carefully. Don't poke me. Do you want the tongues? No, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, guys. I had to take a break because it was too hot. So we moved the pot over to the shade, so I hope that the light is still okay for you to see. But I'm gonna go get my false acatillos and I'm gonna place them in around here. Cool? This cactus is awesome. Here it is, I'm gonna break this up. See if I could show you. Here we go. Ooh, good root system. Look at that, there's one. Number three, and number four. You look at that, look at how the spines covered in soil look black, it's kind of crazy. Like white spines. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. And the foliage on it is like a succulent. Okay. one. Don't fall over, guys. We gotta move it. That looks cute. All right, look at that. We got our cactus up front and then all four of those. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna decorate this with some stone and then we're going to decorate it with some little guys. Okay, so now we're going to decorate with some stone, but first I wanna put these little guys in there. I think the mushroom, maybe we'll put him like peeking out. <laughs> the mushroom can sit right next to the cactus and see all the soil? We're gonna get that off when we water it. Do that and put some soil up on his butt. This will also help them to stand up a little straighter. Perfect. A couple other little guys there. And And that's it. Looks like a little desert bowl. Super cute, right guys? I love it. If you're a landscaper in Arizona, God bless your soul, man. It is so hot and it's only 8 a.m. It took me two hours to do all that and I just beat the sun. All right, guys, that's it. <laughs> if I'm out of breath, I'm sorry. Thank you so much for joining me in this repotting, reconstruction, kind of revamping of my mom's patio plants. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I can't even see anything now. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.